Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with another update to the Dual Peter Belt. I got quite a bit more done on the tractor since the last video. So starting out with the front of the truck here, I decided I didn't really care for the flat panels that were cast in as the grill. And so what I did was I took a note from Jim Stevens in his fine scale modeler article from a few years back and cut out the grill that was there and I put some HO staircase on either side to act as guides for the slats there and that worked out really well. That was a nice tip from him. Uh, one th place where I did vary is instead of using just flat stock I used angle and I did that so that when you're looking at it from the front you get a sense of depth but you don't actually get any light bleed through. So. That worked out pretty well. And then here on the back side, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some flat sheet styrene and surface detail so that it looks like the back side of a radiator. So there's the hood and grill. Now for the cab, in the last video, I was talking about having to do the repair work on the back. And as you can see, that's all been taken care of now. Uh, the rivets were done with Archer fine detail transfers. Uh, these are actually 3D printed decals, basically, uh, where it's got an actual raised texture to it, but they come on a sheet and get applied like any other printed decal does. So, they're not the easiest thing to work with, but I really do like the end result. So, uh, steep learning curve. A little frustration, but uh, worth it in the end, as far as I'm concerned. So that turned out pretty good. Uh, got the window all filled in on this door. Got the holes for the grab handles on the back corners of the truck filled in on both sides. So now that's just about ready for paint. And inside... I have the interior completed and this is all basically box stock other than the passenger's door there where I also had to add a filler panel. Uh, otherwise I did some paint detailing, tried to weather it. I did add a couple of vents right here on the top of the dashboard because all the pictures of Pete's from this vintage that I could find had those and uh, just a detail that was overlooked by AMT from the way that this had to be molded. I added those, uh, but uh, yeah, everything else is just painted out of the box and details up pretty good. Have kind of a brownish gray for the floor there. Uh, everything else was base coated in black and then weathered so that there's no actual true black left in here anymore. Uh, gauge faces there received a light wash. And uh, yeah, so there's that. And finally, the chassis. Uh, last time, I don't think I had any of the side details on it. So working from front to back, we've got the kit supplied toolbox and tank, no, sorry, battery box on this side. Battery box in the tank. We got the fuel tank. That's been really heavily weathered. Pretty happy with how that came out. That, that was a combination of paints and Tamiya effects and charcoal and chalk, and uh, that, that worked out okay, I think. Uh, got the fifth wheel in place. I'm going to add a little bit of grease to that, but uh, it's got a little bit of weathering on the table itself. And this side, got the second battery box, which this one came out of a different Peterbilt kit. I believe this came out of the tow truck. And they don't exactly match side to side, but looking at it from the front, you get generally the same idea and uh, I don't know that the ones in the movie were a 100% match to each other anyway so as long as I've got two that look similar on each side that's good enough for me to be happy 
Uh, I do have a toolbox on this side. That was a scratch built item. And uh, needs a little bit more weathering. That was just recently added. And the tank there, which that's just about finished with the weathering. Gonna do a little bit more on the support rails. But there's that. And not much more on the underside. Pretty much everything that you saw last time. I am still waiting on my wheels to arrive, uh, but I've got them on order, so they should be here anytime. And the last thing that I've been working on is I've started in on the trailer frame. And this is out of the Lindbergh Dodge with Tanker kit. And the white pieces that you see there are some scratch built items where what came in the kit was just no way, shape, or form able to be cleaned up, at least not as nice as just using some new rod stock and a few modifications here and there like the right angles on those pieces. A little filler here and there. Uh, it's really not the greatest casting but since it's going to be buried up under the trailer I wasn't too worried about it. So, there's that. And I do have the trailer epoxied together and that's drying at the moment. I'm going to be skimming that with some filler and then starting to do the cleanup process on it. So that's it for now. Uh, generally pretty happy with how this has been coming along. It's not been the easiest to try to get everything cleaned up, but it's really not too bad either. Uh, considering the age of this kit, I've been pretty happy with the job that they did on it originally. And uh, the years have not been as unkind to it as I was expecting going in. So it's been decent enough that I'm actually considering moving on to one of the other AMT trucks as soon as I finish this one up. Or uh, at least in the near future. But uh, for now, I'm going to start doing the weathering on this cab. Doing the final paint work, adding all of the hardware to the outside of it. And uh, as soon as the wheels arrive, that's going to be kind of the last thing that's needed for it and then it'll be on to doing the major work on the trailer so check back later and thanks for watching